here we will understand lc filter using simulation and supporting theory we will also check that what will be the effect of changing the inductance and capacitance on the output voltage hey welcome to another video on video lecture series on multisim tutorial this is mrudraj and we are going to explore something interesting in this video so this is the lc filter this lc filter is also known as chalk input lc filter why it is like this because if you see over here then at the input of this filter there is a chalk or a inductor and that is why this lc filter is also known as chalk input lc filter or inductor input lc filter it is a circuit that uses an inductor and capacitor to improve the output signal of the rectifier now first of all we will prepare two identical circuit that we used to do in other filters video right so let me make another identical circuit so that we can compare these two circuits let me bring this little bit over so we can have a clear view we'll remove this lc filter so the one circuit will be without lc filter and the another circuit will be with lc filter why we are doing this thing because in oscilloscope we will see the output of with filter circuit and we will see the output of without filter circuit and we will compare right when we have two waveforms then it is easy to compare right so that is why we are using these two circuit and we will compare the output of with and without filters circuit so that would be easy for us to judge the effect of lnc on the output voltage and current now if you want to download this lc filters file of multisim then stay connected to this video at the end section of this video i'll tell you how you can download this file now let's see over here this is our lc filter the input of the lc filter looks like this a pulsating dc and our desired output after this lc filter is like this right a pure dc so now let's understand what this lc filter does the first component comes in picture that is l right the inductive reactance offered by this l inductor is 2 pi f l so from this equation it is clear that the higher the frequency the higher the inductive reactance offered to that signal over here we have only two signals just imagine right or just assume that we have only two signals one is dc signal with 0 hertz and ac signal with 100 hertz right there is a question for you all that why i have taken 100 hertz frequency over here if any one of you knows why i have taken this 100 hertz then please write this thing in comment section below that would be interesting to know so now let's move ahead right so here we have only two signals dc of 0 hertz and ac of 100 hertz so what will happen this xl offered to this ac 100 hertz signal is very high right and the inductive reactance offered to this dc of 0 hertz is the least or zero almost 
right if we talk practically then only the resistive section of this inductor will be offered to the dc signal now when the signal crosses this inductor and reaches over here then the signal we get over here looks like this it is just assumption right it is still not 100% purified there are still some ac component in the signal now there is another component that is capacitor so if we write capacitive reactance equation xc is equal to 1 upon 2 pi fc so it is clear from this equation that the more the frequency the lesser the capacitive reactance offer to that signal right so let me remove this thing to here for while so what will happen again we have two signals over here let's say suppose one is of 0 hertz and the another one is of 100 hertz so what will happen the higher the frequency the lesser the capacitive reactance offered to it so what will happen this ac signal will be diverted to this capacitor and the dc signal will go ahead so over here we will get dc and the ac will go in this capacitor the same thing happens over here let me draw that too dc goes ahead and ac will be blocked by the inductor so this is what actual picture is let me draw it again so majority of ac will be blocked over here but still there is some ac in the signal and that remaining ac will be dropped into the capacitor and at the output side we are having pure dc signal for the load so now let's jump to the simulation and try to understand this thing but before you jump to the simulation i would i would like to ask you for a one favor and that is just give a like to this video if you have given the like let's move ahead remove all these things and jump for the simulation to do simulation we will use oscilloscope to observe the waveform if you want to know how to use the oscilloscope in multisim i have a separate video for that and the link for that video is provided in down description box so now let's connect this oscilloscope to the with filter circuit and without filter circuit so here we have oscilloscope with and without filter will make this circuit or the color of this will be blue so that we can easily differentiate between right the segment color is blue now let's run this thing open it and let's observe we'll adjust the scale of both channel right we'll just uh, keep the two different scale for this two so that we can easily differentiate between two waveforms right otherwise they will overlap and we cannot see both the waveforms so for time being we'll keep the different scale and once we have make enough change in this and then we'll make these two scales equal so initially you can see over here that there is not a much difference right let's reverse it so you can observe it easily right now what we'll do we'll do a fine tuning between these two see let me tell you one more thing about this thing that when you want to design this uh, lc filter then you need to keep this thing in mind that you need to choose appropriate value of inductor and capacitor so that together they can perform and give us a better output right generally what is the general practice xc is the 10 times of 
load impedance right capacitive reactance taken the 10 times load impedance and then from this we can calculate the value of c x is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc right and from this there is another equation there is another equation is vr by v0 is equal to under 2 by 3 into bracket 1 upon 2 omega square lc minus 1 so the general process you can do is this is one of the way there are others way also available to tune this lc filter so from this from load you get this xc and from this xc you get this capacitance c and from this capacitance you place the value of capacitance in this equation and get the l over here this vr is the ripple voltage and vo is the average output voltage so you place oh sorry there is minus one right so you place all the values and you will get the unknown l so this is one of the method to tune this lc filter right now we are not focused in the designing of filter if you wish then i can make a video separate video on design of lc filter so now let's observe the waveform right so as per that equations right as per that equation if i have made the calculation then the value of capacitance is around 318 microfarad and the inductance is 173 millihenry right practically if we talk this 173 millihenry inductors is huge right and practically we never use this much big inductor but this is just for simulation so let me show you the difference if we place these values right see you can see the output is almost pure dc right there is small ripple in this because in that calculation i have taken 0.5 volt as the ripple voltage right but for time being forget those things this 173 millihenry inductor itself a huge inductor so we do not use that much big inductor so what we used to do instead we'll keep this inductance around 5 millihenry only but what we'll do will increase the value of the capacitance generally in, in practice 470 microfarad is a capacitor is available in the market so that ready-made capacitor we can use right so you can see the difference right when we have set the value of inductor to 5 millihenry and capacitor to 470 microfarad it is the output see basically the practice is you first decide the value of capacitance and according to the value of capacitor you select inductor because if in your calculation if you got 40.5 microfarad as capacitor right in market it is not available practically when you want to make this circuit right 40.5 microfarad as capacitor is not available right so in market whatever the value of capacitor is available you need to design the value according to that right and then after as per that capacitor you design the inductor so this is how you can set the value of lnc if you really want to know that how to design this lnc filter then please write in comment section below then i will make a separate video for that also right but if I include all those things in this video, then the length of this video will become too large, right? So that is why I am not including this thing in this video. And the main purpose of this video is to just show you the basic operation of LC filter and 
the simulation result right of with and without filter and then you can compare you those two signals of with and without filter and you can observe that okay what is the effect of changing the value of capacitance right if you make this capacitor even larger then this waveform become even more smoother and if you reduce this value of capacitance then the ripple voltage will increase right let me show this thing to you right uh, first of all what we'll do we'll mark this thing this is the peak value and this is the minimum value right so we have marked this thing now what we'll do we'll reduce the value of capacitance uh, let's say 100 microfarad let's run it from this waveform it is easy to observe that when we have reduced the capacitance the ripple increases right we need to wait for some time the simulation is taking little longer in running see from this observation it is clear right now this is the minimum and this is the maximum value so when we decrease the value of capacitance the ripple increases right now what we'll do now we'll change the value of inductor and observe the output waveforms effect we will decrease the value of inductor run the circuit let's wait for some time so it will run for appropriate time okay we'll stop this simulation and see see this peak has been reduced a little bit right so this peak is reduced a little bit we have made it 3 milli henry from 5 milli henry so the peak is a little bit reduced so from this it is very much clear that independent effect of changing of inductor and capacitor is not much clear in lc filter so from this observation it is clear that we need to tune the value of capacitor and inductor in appropriate manner so that we can get appropriate dc output it is not like inductor filter or capacitor filter where we independently change the value of inductor and observe the changes or independently change the value of capacitance and the observe output waveforms in the lc filter if we change the value of inductor or capacitor independently then we will not get the satisfactory output so this is how change in the value of c and l will affect the output waveform of this rectifier <laughs> If you find this video useful then please give a like and subscribe to this channel. Now we are heading towards the end of the video but still there is something important and useful for you and that is the how to download this multisim file. The link to download this multisim file is provided down in description box. If you want to know more about harmonics filtering using LC filter then write that thing in comment section below and I'll make video on that. And also if you want to know about how to design LC filter then also write that thing in comment section below and I'll make video on that. So if you like the work please like and subscribe to this channel. So bye bye until you watch our next video till that time bye bye.